have you been? Mr. Wen, you're drunk. Summer's here. I want you. Three years ago, to save my mother, I became Frederick Wen's secret mistress. I'm seeing what you Summer Z, your dad killed my mom. From now on, you will stay by my side as your penis. Next week, Frederick Wen, CEO of Wen Corporation, will be engaged to Penton Z, Harris Two Hotel Industry Gen, in a joint venture to develop the Westman Hotel project. Have you taken your medicine? Don't worry, Mr. Wen. I fulfill my duties as mistress. I won't cause any troubles with illegitimate children to disrupt your marriage to Miss G. Remember, you're just a plaything I bought with money. I haven't forgotten. What I hate the most is your pitiful look. Three years, Frederick one. In one more month, I can finally leave you. Did you hear? The boss is getting engaged to Miss G. I thought the boss wasn't into women, seeing how he only ever let Secretary Z close to him. Miss G is the heiress of the G Corporation. Aside from having a face that could lure anyone, what does Secretary Z have? How could the boss ever fancy such a vulgar person? Mr. Wen, this is the project proposal from Bloom Enterprises. Please have a look. So, you are Secretary Z? Hi, I'm Penton G. Where is Fancy? Hello, I'm Mr. Wen's secretary, Summer Z. I've long heard about the beautiful and capable secretary by Frederick side. See you today. Your invitation is well deserved. I wonder if someone as attractive as Secretary Z has a boyfriend? Why bother talking so much to someone who doesn't matter? Oh, I was just asking. My brother's single, and he likes the type that Secretary Z represents. Peyton knew it in his wandering eye. He's interested in any woman, as long as she's alive. Secretary Z, you haven't answered my question yet. No. I'm... single. Secretary Z, could I get your contact information? I was serious about what I said earlier. My brother really didn't have a girlfriend. If you're okay with it, I could introduce you too. No. Summer. Thank you. I need to be here. Sister-in-law, that wasn't very kind of you, was it? I've been pursuing Summer for three years and she's never agreed to me. Are you trying to cut it? It seems I misunderstood. Secretary Z is the one my younger brother likes. It's fine. Oh, right, Summer. Some friends and I are meeting for drinks tonight. Wanna join? 
drinks? She can't go. Frederick, you are here too? Secretary Z still has unfinished work. She probably can't make it. No, I'm free. What time? Felix, it's up to no good. You're not allowed to go to tonight's drinks. And who is up to any good then? You, Mister Wen. You said it to yourself. At home, I'm just your mistress for your suman. At work, we're just superior and subordinate. Since you're just my boss, what right do you have to restrict me? You. You. You're insane. I'm warning you. Stay away from Vadixon. Or you will learn the cost of betraying me. Why are you here? I came for you. What happened to Zekletrazi? Oh, she had an allergic reaction. Allergic? Yes, I'm allergic to cashmere. It must have been the scarf I wore this morning that contained cashmere. Miss G, Mister Wen, I'll get back to my tasks. Frederick, it's almost the time for our appointment. Let's go pick out engagement outfits. All right. Sorry, I'm late. Summer, you finally made it. I said you will come, and they didn't believe me. Here, take a seat. Felix, the sister-in-law is half an hour late. That's three drinks as a penalty. Exactly, three drinks. All right, right. Summer's new here. Don't scare her off. I'll drink this for her. Oh, impressive! Impressive! Felix, your new girlfriend looks familiar. Mr. Wan, isn't your new secretary? Secretary. Good evening, Mr. Wan. Wasn't you on sick leave, resting at home? Summer, are you sick? Where does it hurt? Why is your neck so red? Well, it's nothing. Just a minor allergic reaction. It doesn't look like an allergy to me. More, More like, like someone's bite marks. marks. Enough already. Summer's timid in nature. Don't scare her off. Okay, okay. Come on, let's play truth or dare. All right. Hey, Summer, truth or dare? Truth. Ask her. All right, I'll ask you. Was your first man in this room? Wow, juicy! You're pushing it. First time. Mister Wen asks me now. Isn't a bit late. You're sharp. I just have one request. Can we turn off the lights? From now on, you'll live in this house. I'll come over when needed.
Okay. Remember, I don't like women who don't follow orders. He's not here. Oh, all right. Let's keep going. It's 10.30. You're 10 minutes later than I expect. How did you get in? You've been by my side for three years and you still have to ask. There's nowhere in Anchorton that I can't get into. I've noticed you've been getting bolder lately. Changing locks, attending parties with FedEx on them. I've mentioned it before. I hate women who don't listen. Oh, Frederick one, let go of me. Why go to the party? Are you looking for someone new because our relationship is ending soon? How much is he willing to spend on you? A million? Ten million? All the same with money. Does the amount make any more dignified? Summersy, you're despicable! Am I? If I'm despisable, then what does that make you who's been with me for three years? <laughs> Tell me, who was your first? Tell me! Our contract was only for three years. In a month, our relationship will be completely over. You're engaged now. Why can't you let me go? Let you go? Don't even think about it until I'm tired of you. Don't forget, you have a brother who's a gambler and a mother who's critical ill. I can stop all her treatments with one phone call. You threatened me with my phone. Frederick One, you are shameless. <sighs> yeah, I'm shameless. No, I'm bottom. Summer, my wedding dress is ready. I can't reach Frederick by phone. Could you come with me to try it I'll on? I'll be right there. Take her medicine. I wouldn't want any accidents. Okay. I hope I'm not disturbing your work by asking you out. No, I'm not busy anyway. That's good. I don't know what's up with Frederick. Can't reach him by phone. Worry something happened to him. Misty, your wedding dress is inside. Let me take you to try it on. Frederick Wen, you're finally getting married. Time to wake up from the dream of being your wife. If I said I was just picking something up, would you believe me? Get up.
Mr. Wynn. It's snowing heavily. Miss, would you like to try it out? No. I'm just looking. Summer, you should try it on. I think this dress could be perfect as the bridesmaid's dress, Summer. It's for my wedding. You couldn't possibly refuse this small request, could you? Well, okay. Frederick, you finally made it. Look, is it good? You look beautiful in anything. What are you doing here? Get out, before they notice. You in that dress are the most beautiful bride. I've ever seen. Frederick Wynn, don't be ridiculous. Your fiancé is still outside. We're both in trouble if she finds out. You like this thrill, don't you? The balcony, kitchen, office. Frederick Wynn, you're even more shameless than I thought. Where did the gentleman who was here just go? Uh, he might have gone that way. Not here. Summer's Eve. Why did fate bring us together? Only to give us such a destiny. Hello, Mr. Wen. I'm the new secretary, Summer Z. Is it her? She seems not to remember. The murderer of your mother has passed away. This is his daughter's information. Summer Z, why doesn't it have to be you? Why are you the murder's daughter? Misty, please, I hear. Thank you for accompanying me today. It was no trouble at all. Summer, from the first moment I saw you, I really liked you. There are many female employees under Frederick, but you are smarter than all of them. Miss G, just cut to the chase. As you know, Frederick is outstanding and maintains his integrity. Unfortunately, some people cling like flies. Those women of low bows are more shameless than we thought. Of course, I know you are different from them. 
So I'd like you to keep an eye on Frederick for me and report any suspicious behavior. Miss G, I'm Mr. Wen's secretary. If he finds out about this, I could lose my job. Of course, I wouldn't ask you to do this for nothing. Catch one. I'll give you a million. Frederick, you're here. Come to my house for dinner tonight. My brother wants to discuss the Westmount Hotel project with you. Sure. Why is the secretary here? Hello, Mr. Wen. I asked Summer to accompany me to try on wedding dresses. Frederick, what was the red mark on your neck? Must have been bitten by a disobedient mosquito last night. I thought your place has professionals for mosquito control regularly. It must have been from somewhere else. Better stay away from such dirty places. Summer, I've booked a restaurant upstairs. Let's have dinner together. Okay. Pack this one, please. Yes. What's wrong? Is it the food? No, I just saw a bug. Must have been my imagination. Then you better get checked at the hospital to avoid any issues while working. Summer, I heard you're twenty-six. Don't you plan on getting married? My family situation is a bit special. I'm not planning to get married at the moment. I could introduce you to someone. What's her type? I have no. a friend who just came back. No need, Miss G. My life is focused on work right now. I'm not planning on dating. Are you rejecting me because you already have someone in mind, or is it you also like for days? The person Summer likes is me. We are ready to get it. Whose message is that? Nothing. Just spam. I only said those things earlier so Peyton G would hear them. You know how controlling she can be. She wouldn't be comfortable leaving a single beauty like you around her fiance. I get it. Thanks for today. A girl once tried to seduce my brother before. Peyton turned her face. Now the G family paid to cover it up. Since then, not many women dare get close to my brother. Has Peyton always been like this? She's the G family's only daughter, spoiled since birth. Oh, and her brother's a real piece of work too. Better to steer clear of her. Got it. Thanks, Felix. Summer, you don't need to thank me. If you want. I can always look out for you. Hello, Miss Summer. Come Summer. to the hospital. Come to the hospital. Some men are trying to Some take, your mom, trying to take your mom away. I'll be right there. Stop! Mom, what's happening? Don't scare me. Oh, look who's back! Your brother's racked up more gambling debts. If you don't pay up this time. I'll sell both you and your crippled mom. Don't you dare! How much does he owe? Five million. No more, no less. Five million? Last time it was five hundred thousand. Now it's five million. I'm telling you, I won't pay a cent. Go after James Lee for the debt. He's long gone. He even told us to come to you and your mom for the money. Bragging about his sister being the CEO secretary at one corporation. If you don't pay up, <laughs> we'll have to take you as payment. <laughs> Wonder what the CEO secretary is like.
Come on. Uh, Stop. I'll pay for her. No, don't give them any money. Boss, I've seen him in the newspaper. He's Wen Cooperation Second Son. Here's a card with five million. Take the money and get lost. No. Uh, Let's go. Summer, are you okay? Mom. Felix, I'll find a way to pay you back. Summer, I know about your family situation. Your brother's gambling is out of control. He can't keep cleaning up his mess. I can move your mom to a better hospital. Please, let me take care of you and her. I need some time. <laughs> okay, I'll take care of the transfer process. Frederick wouldn't let me go! Why weren't you waiting at home like I asked? Where did you go with FedEx? His place or a hotel? Frederick, my legs are mine. Where I go and what I do, it's none of your business. None of my business? Does Felix know about how you behave? Under me? Or does he like that side of you too? Frederick One, not everyone is as shameless as you! <laughs> it seems you are not calm enough. Let me remind you of your place. Let go! Let go of me! I'm telling you, from now on, without my permission, we're going nowhere. You wish, Frigic One. I won't let you control me anymore! What do you mean? Mr. Wen, Felix has come to arrange for Summer's mother's hospital transfer. Shall we allow it? No. Inform the hospital to move Lana Shen to a private ward and guard her closely. No one sees her without my permission. Frederick Wan, that's my mother! Give me the phone! Give it to me! Are you calm now? I'm calm. I'm calm now. Frederick, please, just spare my mom, and I'll do anything. Please let her go. Get up. Get up. Summer, you know. I hated when you back. From now on, as long as you stay by my side, I promise your mother will receive the best care. Okay. Kiss me.
What are you two doing? Are you down? What? I'm supposed to be your fiancé. Are you sure you want to protect her? It's not what you think. Then what is it? I saw her securing you with my own eyes. Summer, are you okay? Felix Wynn? Miss Chi, you're my sister-in-law. But you can't bully my girlfriend like this. This is mine and Summer's home. As for my brother, he came to see me. I saw them kissing, just now. You mean this? Miss G, my contact lens fell out, and Mr. Wen was just helping me get it. You misunderstood. Frederick, let me explain. Frederick! Summer, you and my brother. Felix, I'm a bit tired. Can I have a moment alone? Sure. Get some rest early. Forget me. I really know what's wrong. Please forgive me. Patenty. This engagement was never what I wanted. If you don't change your arrogant attitude, I don't see a reason to continue this. Don't, for Derek. Let go. For Derek. I know you are against the marriage of convenience, but I can help you. You've always wanted to fulfill your mother's dream of building the Westman Hotel, right? If we get married, my brother will provide a land for Wen Corporation to develop. You can build whatever you want. I have many ways to get the West Mail land, if I want. You can't threaten. I'm not threatening you. Frederick, I've heard Uncle Wen has been undermining you at the board meetings. I just want to help you. I don't want today's incident to happen. I won't. Felix. As per your instructions, we've set James C. up with a gambling debt of five million, and even caused a scene in his mother's hospital room. Well done. Consider this money an extra reward. <laughs> Thank you, Felix. Oh, and keep a close eye on James C. We might need him later. Understood. I'll leave you to it. Next week, Frederick Wen, CEO of Wen Corporation, will engage Pentong Ji, the heiress of the Hotel Empire, to jointly develop the West Mountain so, Hotel project. Summer Z is your weakness, Frederick. Come here. Mr. Wen, we're in office. I won't ask twice. Stay still. Does it still hurt? Thank you for your concern. Here. Is this supposed to be a compensation? A slab followed by a sweet treat? Your tricks are quite sophisticated. Don't talk to me in that tone again, understand? I don't want it. Don't move. Or I can guarantee what I might do to you here. Despicable.
Your brother came to me, asking for five million right off the bat. Did you give it to him? His sister has been serving me so well. Of course I had to fulfill my brother-in-law's request. Frederick Wen, don't think I don't know what you are up to. You just want to use my brother as another way to control me. Whatever you give him has nothing to do with me. I won't be grateful. Summer, I was wrong about last night. I misunderstood you and Frederick. I made mistakes too. It's okay. Great! You must come to my engagement party next week. Sure. Miss G, I've got things to do. I'll leave now. Aiden, you look stunning today. Well, have I ever not been beautiful? True. My sister is the most beautiful girl in the world. Listen here. If you ever dare to mistreat my sister, you'll have to answer to me. Penan, after all these years of liking Fred every win, you finally get what you wanted. Soon, we will all be calling you Miss Wen. And this is... Miss G. Let me introduce everyone. This is my guest. Summer Z, also Frederick's secretary. You are here. <laughs> Just a secretary. And dressed like that. A secretary? What's she doing here? Is she trying to challenge Pinto? Hayden, it's your engagement party. And you invited someone like a secretary? She's Frederick's secretary, yes. But she's also Phyllis' girlfriend. I heard they're getting married soon. We'll have another party in no time. Right, Summer? You are right. Summer and I are getting engaged. Hayden, it's your engagement party. And you invited someone like a secretary? And Frederick when said that. Aren't you afraid she will seduce your fiance? Don't worry. She's Felix's girlfriend. And you just believe her? She's Frederick Wen's secretary. Why would she bother with Felix? It doesn't matter what it was before. It has to be the way now. The Wen family wouldn't allow the scandal of brothers fighting over a woman. So you deliberately announced her as Felix's girlfriend in public, cutting off any possibility with Frederick Wen. Padam, you're a genius. But... Does she have nothing to do with Frederick? I noticed he just keep looking at her. Whether there is or isn't, we will see. Miss Summer, Mr. Wen asks you to come upstairs. He wants to, he talk. Wants to talk. Excuse me. He actually went. The show is about to start. It's not him? I really did misunderstand Frederick and Summer. Thank you for going along with this act. Whether there is or isn't, we will see. Summer, I may not know what you've been through, but just know I'll always be there for you when you need me. The party is about to start. We should head down. I heard Mr. Once give the massive blue diamond ring worth over 50 million, truly a one-of-a-kind piece. Such a grand gesture. 
shows just how much Mr. Well adores Miss Jean. Indeed. So, you're the woman seducing my son? Mom, what are we? Let me tell you. My son Felix is the further hero of the Wen Corporation. He's supposed to marry the lady of high status, not some secretary. You better to drop your delusions. Mom, not here in front of everyone, please. I want to make things clear in front of everyone. Felix, women like her are a dime a dozen. If it's just for fun, fine. But if you're thinking about marriage, I'll never approve. Auntie, what's going on? Peyton, please talk some sense into Felix. I can't believe he's involved with such a lowly woman. My future daughter in love should be someone of your caliber, both in family background and appearance. Auntie, Summer is Frederick's secretary. Don't you trust her character? The secretary? Who knows what means she used to get close to our Felix? You have to be careful with such manipulative women. And Lou, you are my dad's secretary too. Arguing about means. Summer should respectfully call you a secretary. Hey, how dare you speak to me like that? Frederick, I'm your stepmother after all. Mom, isn't this embarrassing enough? Let's go! Hey, wait! Don't pull me! I'm not done yet! I'll tell your father! Summer, are you okay? I'm fine. Miss, your dress is dirty. Let me take you upstairs to change. This way. Is this the dress I tried on the other day? Go change. Where's the diamond bracelet I gave you? Why aren't you wearing it? I lost it. What? Does it hurt? A mere 50 million isn't a big loss. It's just that the diamond was unique. Finding another that matches your handprint will be troublesome. Unique? The ring you gave to Peyton G. That's a unique blue diamond too, right? What? Jealous? Not at all. The person who hit you earlier, Lucy Liu, was my dad's secretary, who charmed her way into becoming Mrs. Wen. If she can do, I believe. You can too. Huh? Mr. Wen, who do you suggest I climb to? You have a particularly good opportunity right in front of you. Me? Today is your engagement day, and your fiancé is waiting downstairs. What I want from you, does it conflict with her being there? 
Frederick Wynne, if you have no shame, I do. You're the CEO of one corporation. What kind of woman can you have? Why won't you let me go? Want me to let you go? Maybe another life. Secretary Z. Rough night? Why not sleep in a bit? You just got engaged to Miss G yesterday. You can take a day off, but I'm just a secretary. I need to work to make a living. Your neck is beautiful, Einstein. No need for adornment. A scarf would just be superfluous. Now you're dictating what I should wear too? I've told you, I don't like that tongue with me. Right. You're the boss. I should just be whatever you want me to be. After all, I'm just a toy that you bought with money. This slap, I'll make sure it's avenged. Well, dare to insult me in public. Wait till I tell your father. Oh, Frank. You gambled again, huh? What did I tell her before? Uh, uh, please. You learn your uh, I lesson. I swear I'd never do it again. Please put that down. It's too expensive. I swear I'd never do it again. Uh, please, I'm wrong. I really won't do it again. Frederick, you're here. There's been an issue with the Western Mount Hotel and approval with Patton Yu. He's waiting for you in the study room. All right. I'll head up now. Here's the preliminary stock distribution plan for the Westmount Hotel, with the G family holding 40% and the one family 60%. It is my father's decision. Or the board's. Whose decision it is doesn't really matter. You know, with your rising prominence in the business world, your father has been surprising you for Felix, his illegitimate son. Marry into the G family is your only choice if you want to control over the Westmount Hotel. If the old man knew, his beloved G family was siding with a son he dislikes. It probably ended in hospital. Here's the fruitful partnership. Brother! What's up? I think Frederick is cheating on me. I found this on him. Mr. Wen, you wanted to see me? Come in and close the door. Hey, look! Isn't that the future, Miss CEO? Pretty average, if you ask me. If I had her background, I could marry CEO too.
The project data for Panorama Group is full of errors. Summer Z, what have you been doing? That document wasn't issued by me. I'm sorry, Mr. Wen. I will review it right now. Summer, got time for a drink? Summer, I asked you out today because I need your help. Frederick is seeing someone else. I found this on him. I know you are allergic to cashmere, so this scarf can be yours. Right now, you are the only person I can trust. Miss G, do you have other clues for that? I suspect this person. She's in this company. Is that a Tahitian black pearl on your neck? How much did that cost? It's not too bad. Just a few hundred thousand. Chloe Zhao, I made it clear that this document had to be viewed by me. Why did you send it to the client without my approval? The client was pressing. And what's the difference? Oh, I get it. You wanted all the credit for yourself and now you are mad I caught on. Credit? This document is full of errors and nearly cost the company's billions. If you keep this up, pack your bags and leave. What's with the attitude? Just because the CEO favors you, don't get too cocky. We will see who has to live in the end. About this morning... The oversight was mine. You shouldn't blame yourself. Such a beautiful neck. Shouldn't always be bare. Van Cleave has some new jewelry. Go pick out something you like. No need. I'm just a secretary. Wearing expensive jewelry will only raise suspicions. You can wear it at home for me. Go on. Pick a few pieces. Mr. Wen. Please. We're at office. So what? This is my territory. I do as I please. Meet me at Lakeside Restaurant at 7. Summer Z. You're definitely hiding something. What? Frederick has a candlelit dinner date? I need to see who dares to seduce my fiancé. Frederick Wen, what am I to you? Really? Why are you here? Good evening, sir. Would you like us to decant the wine you've to reserve now? Not now. Understood. Mr. Wen, sorry it's to keep her. you waiting. It's you. Who are you expecting, Mr. Wen? Miss G? Or the secretary Z? Mr. Wen, I'm prettier than the secretary. And I'm softer too. Mr. Wen, want to give it a try? Why is she here? Excuse me. Let's order. Why are you here? Summer, please. You'll have to help me this time. They said they'd chop off my hands if I don't pay up. 
How soon did you go gambling again? I was just playing a bit. But it got out of hand. Before I knew it, the debt with interest soared to over a million. Please, Summer, lend me some money. I'll win it all back. Enough! The debt that I've paid off for you already amount to millions. If I weren't you losing our dad's house, Mom wouldn't be in the hospital without money for treatment. I don't hate you. Anyway, I don't have money, nor will I help you with debts. Summer, I was so close to winning. I could win it all back, really? Summer! Summer! Summer, I'm your brother! You can't just leave me to die! Summer, listen to me. Just open the door. Let me a little more, and I'll win back everything! Mr. Wen. I don't like talking during the meals. Check this warm misinformation for me. Tell me, why did you declose my whereabouts? <laughs> it was Pat and G. She gave me a million to monitor you, to inform her immediately if any woman approached you, Pat and G. And what did you tell her? I told her you had a dinner date with a woman at Lakeside Restaurant. But that's what I said, Mr. Wen. I have a family to support. Please spare me, Mr. Wen. I won't do it again, Mr. Wen. Spare you? Mr. Wen. It's not impossible. But you need to tell me what else she knows. Right, Mr. Wen. She asked me to investigate a woman named Chloe Zhao. Chloe Zhao. Yes. Mr. Wen. The woman who dined with you last night. From now on, I don't want to see him in the night. Understood. Oh, and arrange a lunch with Chloe Zhao at Grand Feast Hall for me. Yes, Mr. Wan. This is the gift box from Grand Feast Hall, right? You have to spend 100k to get this. Chloe, is this yours? Of course. Whose else could it be? Oh, my boyfriend always insists me I try this. Even when I say no. Can't do anything about him. Summer! Want one? No thanks. I'll pass. Oh? Is it because you don't want to eat? Or because no one's giving you any? Summer, you've been with Mr. Wen for so long, and I haven't seen him give you anything. He just gave me a bag worth over a million the other day. Seems like you are not doing too well, huh? Here's some advice. Keep your distance from him. I simply want. What are you going to do about it? What happened to you? Nothing. Just buy some pastry. Why didn't you come last night? Family issues. Couldn't leave the house. Is it about your brother? Are you spying on me? I said before, from now on, you can only be where I can see you. Glad you didn't go. Frederick. After buying me a million dollar bag last night, now taking me jewelry shop. I don't even know how to thank you. Maybe tonight in my place? Pick what you want. I don't have all day. 
This one, this one, this one. Let me see them. Mr. Wan, your father wants you back to discuss the Westmount Hotel stock distribution. All right, got it. I have to leave for a bit. Pick whatever you like. It's all on me. Frederick! Uh, lady, this is a British Royal Customized Edition, the only one in the world, worth over six million. Would you like to try it on? Sure! Uh, wait. I want her to try it. Me? Summer, assisting Mr. Wen's girlfriend should be within your job scope, right? Fine. I'm telling you, don't think I don't know you're flooding with Frederick behind my back. Frederick is mine, and no one can take him away. Miss Chi, what brings you here? If you need anything, we can deliver it to your home. No need. I'm just browsing. Sunny. This must be Miss Chloe Zhao, right? M Miss J. Ah, oh, a black pear. Too bad. It's a cheap fake. The most expensive thing on you must be that bag, right? People shouldn't cover what isn't theirs. A fake will always be a fake. Like a pheasant trying to be a phoenix. Summer, I will be on my way. Enjoy shopping. Take care. <coughs> What's with the attitude? I still have decided who will become Miss Wen. <gasps> Aunt Teresa has been gone for so many years, and you still remember the West Mount Hotel project. Such filial piety is truly touching. Who let you in? Get up. But if Aunt Summer knew you were keeping the daughter of her enemy by your side, that filial piety might not seem so great. The biggest disrespect to her is letting you and a legitimate son stand here as if you belong. Frederick Wan, do you still think you're the untouchable heir of the One family? Yes, I'm an illegitimate son, but now I'm also a legitimate heir of the One family. Your grandfather's inheritance in the West Mount. I'm entitled to a share of that. Getting those will depend on your real capabilities. Oh, and stop pretending to be brotherly in front of others. You're just a bastard. Frederick, about the West Mount Hotel project, Felix. Felix wants in. I, the chief family, and the board, none of us will agree. So don't waste your efforts paving the way for that illegitimate son. I'm your father, watch your tone! My attitude depends on what he's done. Dad, I have other matters to attend to. And great your time. Find a reason to send Felix away. I don't want to see him for a while. Understood. Who did this to your hand? One of my co-workers. Frederick Wan's latest favorite. <sighs> Again with Frederick Wen? I don't care if she's new or old favorite. She hurts you. Go, sort her out. My hand's fine now. See? You are too kind. When you and Frederick got together, I thought it was fine since you were both single. But now, he's engaged, and it's still bothering you? What a faceless jerk. Summer, why don't you quit your job? I can support you. 
So, I appreciate your kindness, but my relationship with him isn't that simple as you think. Now that he found a new target, he should forget about me soon. If it means getting rid of him, I don't mind if they walk over me, let alone step on my head. But... Sue, I've got something else to handle. Wait! You put a tracker on my phone? Tracker? The places you frequent are limited. It's easy to guess where you might be. Frederick, we're done. Done? And what's the excuse this time? Aren't you with Chloe Chow now? Summer, you really don't understand our relationship, don't you? A mistress, one or two, what's the difference? If happiness can be bought, why not enjoy it? So in your eyes, I'm just something you bought with money. Frederick, I'm tired. I'm done playing this game anymore. Summer Z, you don't get to say it's over. Mom. Mom. Mom! Mom! Wake up, please! Don't scare me! Mom! Mom, please wake up! Mom! <sighs> Summer Sea, why, why did I have to meet you? Why did you have to be the daughter of that murderer? What am I supposed to do with you? What happened to your aunt? Nothing. Just a small fall. Tomorrow, Mr. Sharon from Bloom Enterprises invited me to his newly developed Serenity Springs Resort. I remember you like hot springs. Want to join? Is this an invitation or a notification? Take it as you will. I'll pick you up at 8 a.m. Fine. Mr. Wan, this is yesterday's surveillance footage. Frederick, you wanted to see me? Was this the piece you liked yesterday? Yes, Frederick. I can't believe you actually bought it for me. If you keep causing trouble under my name, I won't hesitate to replace you. <sighs> What's got into him? Rich people are so strange. But hey, a six mil necklace just like that. If I can secure for Derek Wynn, I won't have to worry for the rest of my life. Just you wait. I'll definitely become Miss CEO. Mr. Wan, sorry for not greeting you sooner. Long time no see, see. Ah, Summer, you're here too. Mr. Sharon, about the mistake in the project data, it was my own fault. I apologize. 
I've heard about the incident. It was an employee being overzealous and bypassing protocols. Not your fault. Sin, I've heard great things about your resource hot springs. Any chance we could experience today? <laughs> Got caught up in conversation. I almost forgot. You, show Mr. Wan around. Right this way. Hello. Oh, Miss G. Mr. Wan just brought a woman over. Got it. Summer, it's just a hot spring. Everyone's clothed. What's there to worry about? Why are you standing so far? I won't bite. Biting? More like skinning and deboning. Though, soaking in the hot spring is quite relaxing. If only Frederick Wen, the big back wolf, was in there. Why bring him up? <gasps> so, it is throwing yourself into the lion's den. Absolutely not. Denying it? You're reading too much into it. Stop. <laughs> Chloe Zhao, I told you not to cause trouble in front of me. She's seducing you, trying to steal from me. Seems like Mr. Wen's new flame hasn't realized her place yet. I'll leave you two to it. You two, continue. Frederick! Miss G, Mr. One and that woman are over here. If you don't change your domineering attitude, I think we might need to reconsider this engagement. Why? Because I'm Frederick's fiancée. I've seen plenty of women like you. Tell me, how much do you want to leave Frederick? <clears throat> you... how much will you give me? I will give you one million to disappear from Ancorton today. One million? Are you kidding me? Then give me a price. Why size a cure for Derek Wen? Not just one million, even ten billion won't be an issue. Miss G, can you do the mess? And you call yourself the G family's Harris? That's laughable. <sighs> Fine. Looks like our negotiation failed again. <laughs> What are you doing? Stay away from me! Ah! Miss G, when did you arrive? Just got here. Are you and Felix here for fun? Miss G. Summer, I've got something else. How about dinner tonight? Sure. What's wrong? Now for your business. Pant on Jay. I'll get back at you for this. Ah! Miss G, 
Mr. Wen. Why are you here? I invited Summer to join us for dinner. Summer, have a seat. Felix, didn't come with you? He... Oh, she came with me. Summer has been heading Bloom Enterprises project, making her the best fit for dealing with C. Oh, I see. Frederick! Frederick, why didn't you invite me to dinner? Miss Chi. Frederick, will you introduce to us? This is a... Hi, Mr. Wen's girlfriend. Hello, Mr. Wen's fiancé. This isn't the place for you. Go back. I won't. It's so lonely being by myself in the room. Aren't you worried about me? Besides, it's lively here. Right, Miss J? Chloe Zhao, please stop it. I'm speaking to Miss J. What's the secretary got to do with it? Or is there something ambiguous between you and Frederick? Summer. Chloe Zhao keeps spouting nonsense, and I won't hesitate to shut you up. Mr. Wen, would you like your wine open now? Yes. Let me do it. Here. Miss Lee, let's see who wins the end. Just wait till I'm carrying Frederick Wen's child with his baby. The title of Miss Yeo will be mine. Frederick, I'm here. Why are you here? Mr. Wen, what's wrong? Summer, help me. Please help me. Did you hear? Chloe Zhao from the secretary department resigned. She left without taking her stuff. Really? Yeah. She seems so competent at her work. I don't understand. Who knows? Wasn't she always bragging about her wealthy boyfriend? Maybe she's gone off to be a lady wow. of leisure. You never know. Just looking at her. No wonder she landed that gig. Frederick, look. This is the West Mount, where your grandparents met. Grandpa has already bought this land. How about we build a castle for you? Wonderful! You're the best, Mom! It's beautiful! Mr. Wen, this is a stock distribution document the Broad has sent us for Western Mount Hotel. One corporation holds 60%, with 40% under your name. Mr. Wen, since we returned from Serenity Spring Resort, I haven't seen Chloe Zhao anymore. Do you know where she went? After that night, you came back with me. Do you think I had time to see her? What? She's gone missing? Not exactly. I heard she left her job. Which doesn't seem like her. So I thought I'd ask. Instead of worrying about others, you should think about what you want. After all, you've helped me, and I should return the favor, no? If I tell you, will you agree? I want to see my mom.
I know. Deep inside, you hate me. Hate me for using your mom to trap you with me. You just. If not for your help with the medical bill, my mom would have died three years ago. You say one thing but mean another. However, as long as you behave, I'll take you to see your mom in a few days. Okay? I understand. Go on then. You really don't know where Clojo has gone? You really think I have the time to keep track of every employee's whereabouts? Of course, you are an exception. I'll get back to the work. Summer! Who are you? It's me. Chloe Zhao. I thought you went back to your hometown after quitting. What are you doing here? Summer, please, I need your help. Start from the beginning. What happened? Why are you back? For Derek. Out with it. What's going on? It's Pendonji. Frederick, I heard you were feeling unwell that night, so I rushed over to look after you. But then, Pendonji appeared out of nowhere. Stay away from me! What are you doing? I was wrong. I really realized my mistake now. <laughs> this face. I know she did this. She's a devil. Now that my face is like this, I don't even want to live anymore. What are you daydreaming about so intently? Chloe Zhao's situation. What are you planning to do? They told you, right? The one who drugged me before was her. Really? You always trust people so easily. She wanted to drug me to trap me into marrying her by getting pregnant. You could say... She brought this all herself. You know, she was just taking the fall for me. Pei Tongji was actually after me. She's her and you are you. You are not the same How are we different? Aren't we both just your mistresses? The only difference is, I've been with you for three years and she was with you for a month. What I have with Chloe Zhao wasn't what you think. Then what was it? Now Chloe Zhao is disfigured living in a nightmare. Pei Tongji is hateful, sure. But the real criminal is you, Frederick One. How many more people will you hurt before you're satisfied? I get it. I know what you're afraid of. I promise. I will keep you safe. Not let anyone hurt you. Keep me safe. How can you protect me? By breaking off your engagement? Trust me. Mr. Wan, it was indeed Miss G who hurt Chloe Zhao. We got a video from yesterday. She couldn't resist acting out again, huh? Let's pay a visit to the G family. Understood. Penan, not keeping company with the fiance? 
Got time to go shopping with me? I've just dealt with a major headache. Feeling pretty good. Pick up anything you like. It's on me. So generous. Then I'm definitely going to make you pay. Hello, brother. Paid. Come home for a bit. Yeah, got it. I have to go. Chat it to my card. Sure. Bro, you rushed me back here. What's up? Frederick? What's pretty here? Listen, prepare a few extra dishes tonight. No need. I'm here to call off the engagement. What? Call off the engagement? Call off the engagement? I don't agree. Why else would you want to do that? Did I do something wrong again? Or did I upset you? I can change! Frederick, this is an engagement we're talking about. Why cancel it? I'm giving my sister to you, not for you to pick and choose. If you can't give me a reason today, don't think about leaving this house. Reason? She knows what she did. I don't understand. What are you saying? Peyton, what's going on? Acting out of jealousy, hurting someone. It's not your first time, right? Frederick, let me explain. It's not like that. I told you. If you don't change your arrogant ways, the engagement is off. Peyton G, our engagement is over. All this over my sister scarring that woman's face? Frederick won. Aren't you overacting? Do you know my sister's status compared to that woman? Don't forget, this marriage was arranged by Mr. One Senior. I'll handle this myself. No need for your concern. And the West Mount Hotel project? What about the West Mount Hotel project? The West Mount land was in my mother's name. Why it ended up? With the Chi family after her death, you know best. Frederick! Brother, what should I do? I don't want to call off the engagement. I want to marry him. Help me! It's okay, Pete. I'll make him come crawling back to you. Come in. What's up? You promised to take me to see my mom. Not these next few days. Let's plan for later. A gentleman's word isn't his bond. Frederick one, you promised me. So I am a gentleman in your eyes. I've prepared a big surprise for you. What surprise? Mr. One, urgent news. The board is calling you in. Something came up. I'll be back to discuss with you. Hey. Close. Wait. Come on. What's going on? <sighs> this is the life. Treating my place like a spa, huh? Hey, did Frederick West stop bothering you lately? Oh, uh, my dear Sue. Can we not mention him when I'm trying to relax? Hey, look at this. When Corporation CEO cuts off engagement for love, billion dollar hotel project might see changes. What? Let me see. Ditching his fiancée for many years for a new flame. Look at the comments. All criticizing Frederick Wen. He deserves it. But who is Chloe Chow? I got emergency. Got to run. Hey. M my phone. Uh, wait. Is he inside? Summer, the CEO isn't in the best mood right now. Maybe you should wait before going in. What happened? <sighs> The CEO is calling off his engagement, and the chief family decided to pull out of the Westmount Hotel project. Plus, you know, this project had a huge initial investment in terms of manpower and resources, and now Mr. One Senior is trying to use the board to oust the CEO. 
I'll go inside and see. Why are you here? Concerned about me. Not really. Seems like you do care about me after all. Frederick One, tell me honestly, are you calling off your engagement because of me? Are you calling off your engagement because of me? What if I say it's not? That's for the best. I don't want to owe you anything. Summer Z, you owe me more than you think. What do you mean? Are you keeping something from me? <sighs> Ever heard of fairy tale? Once there was a princess with endless wealth and a beautiful garden. But one day, she fell in love with a poor boy who turned into a king. Afterwards, he not only usurped her kingdom, but also had a child with another woman. What happened next? Well, the prince is dead, murdered by her most trusted servant, and her garden was taken by others. That princess seems quite pitiable, surrounded by such villains. Do you really think Princess is pitiable. Why? Nothing. Just thought it was funny. Want to know how the story ends? Yeah. In the end, the servant got hit by a car. Years later, the little prince, the princess had, finds the servant's daughter and ruthlessly keeps her by his side. Wait. Why does this story sound so familiar? Frederick One! You ungrateful son! Tell me! Is what's in the news true? You're recording off your engagement for a woman greedy for vanity! Dad. You arranged that marriage, I'm sad. Because I didn't follow your plan. You want me to follow in your footsteps and marry into the G family as their son-in-law. What did you say? You good for nothing! <gasps> Watch out! Doctor. How is she? The patient suffered a blow to the head. Unfortunately, there's no internal bleeding. We recommend hospital observation for a couple more days. Okay. Thanks. Why did you take that hit for me? I don't know. I just... reacted. Don't worry. I'll make it up to you. Miss, Mr. One, take a look at this. I believe Frederick was seduced by that woman. 
As long as he repents, I am willing to wait for him. The comment section is filled with haters. The company stock is plummeting, and the board says if we don't make a statement soon, they'll call a shareholder meeting to demand a management reshuffle. <sighs> the board? More like Frank Wen's doing. I'll handle this. Tell our people to stand by for now. Understood. Brother, will this really make Frederick come back to me? Don't worry. The power of public opinion is lethal. He's just used to being on top. Once he hits rock bottom, he'll come crawling back to you. Ah! That's not me. What's wrong? Who took this? Stay away from me! I was wrong! God! That's so brutal! <laughs> Mr. G, I... I didn't mean it. Shut it. Clean this up. Understood. How could you stay in hospital and not even telling me? If I had called you to check up on you, were you planning to keep this from me forever? Sue, I'm sorry. I just didn't want to worry you. You always keep everything to yourself. How can I not worry? Are you feeling okay? What are you doing here? You're not welcome. Please escort Miss Sue out. Yes, Miss Sue, this way please. Who said I'm leaving? I'm staying here to take care of Summer. Here. You released that hotel video, didn't you? Frederick Wen. What are you trying to do? Didn't I already tell you what I want? When? It seems you haven't been taking my words seriously. But that's okay. I'm in a good mood today. I'll take you to visit your mother. You have 10 seconds to get dressed or I'm leaving. Really? Hey, wait for me! Hold on. Your mom just had surgery. You can't go in yet. What did you say? Surgery? What have you done to my mom? Mr. One, the patient's vital signs are stable. And if there's no rejection, there should be no major issues moving forward. What's going on? Mr. Wan has been searching for a suitable kidney for Mrs. Shen for the past three years, finally finding a match last month. She's now being moved to a special ward for pre-surgery checks. So... my mom's... getting better? I can't guarantee anything. Given the patient's long-term paralysis, we need to continue monitoring her. Mr. Wan, I'll go prepare the medication now. Thank you, doctor. Was this a big surprise you mentioned a few days ago? Frederick Wen, thank you. Summer, I told you before, as long as you stay by my side, I'll ensure your mom gets the best treatment. If you really want to thank me, just stay by my side. Understood? Hey, ten days! You can't find one woman? My sister is still being slandered online! Where's the lawyer? The PR team? Sue them! I've spent so much money in Anchor to over the years for what? A bunch of incompetence! Well, Mr. Yu, we've searched the entire city. 
If she's still in Ancorton, only the, the, the one family could hide her so well. The one family? Frederick won. Well, if he wants to play dirty, he's got another thing coming. Even after being discharged, don't neglect your health. Take some time off from work. Rest up at home. Okay. Frederick Wen, can I go take care of my mom? As you've seen, your mother just had surgery and is still unconscious. It's not a good time to disturb her. Don't worry. The hospital is mine. They'll take good care of her. Thank you. Then... I'll head back now. Frederick Wen! Summer, care for a drink? Miss G, I'm a bit tied up. Summer, I always thought we were friends, but I didn't expect you to betray me. Chloe Zhao got in touch with Frederick through you, right? Miss G, I don't know what you're talking about. Still playing them at this point? Just tell me where she is, and where is money or a way into the Wen family want. I can help. I don't want your money, and I don't want to enter the Wen family. As for Chloe Zhao, she did come to me, but I don't know where she is now. So you mean Frederick has hidden her away? Frederick? Right. He is in danger. Miss G, your brother's man took Mr. Wen. We need to save him fast. Then it's a deal. A deal it is. It seems my guess was right. Surprised. From the moment I stepped into the Serenity Spring Resort, everything that followed was orchestrated by Frederick. All to force the Jim family to give up 20% of the Westman Hotel shares. And you think I feel for such a man? Summer. Isn't that pathetic? I've got to go. Frederick. That guy got Chloe Zhao to cooperate with a clarification that saw a few media outlets claiming the breakup was just a rumor. Peyton, even though our family can't compete with once, and I've been facing some financial issues, I didn't want you to help the G family like this. I'm not just doing it for the G family. Brother, you know me. My dream was to marry Frederick. I'd rather die than marry someone else. All right. If that's how you feel, I'll make sure you get your wish. Summersy, listen to me. I don't want to hear it. <sighs> Calm down. Chloe Zhao has already received the settlement. The money is enough for her to leave for the rest of her. I can't calm down. So this was all your plan, right? You intentionally leaked your track to Chloe Zhao. Had Peyton G caught in. And even Chloe Zhao's disfigurement was part of her plan. Frederick Wen. You're a beast. <sighs> Me, a beast? Summer Z, listen well. You're the last person who gets to accuse me. What are you doing? Let go! What are you trying to do? You said I'm a beast, didn't I? If I don't act on your words, wouldn't I be let you down? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
You forced me first. Summersy, don't go. Can't you just leave me alone? Leave you alone? If I truly did, who will leave me alone? Who will leave me alone? Summer, I heard you were sick and hospitalized. How are you feeling now? Much better. Thanks for asking. No problem. Just take care. Summer! Summer, I'm finally back from assignment. I can see you again. Summer, come to my office. Okay. Felix, this is the office. Let's avoid actions that could lead to misunderstandings in the future. Sorry, I got too excited there. You have no idea how much I missed you. How about dinner tonight? I can't. I... It's settled then. I'll pick her up tonight. Mr. Wen, you wanted to see me? What? Reuniting with the old flame, and you can't wait to embrace each other. You know there's nothing between him and me. It better be that way. Otherwise, I can't guarantee. What I might do to you, Felix. Frederick! Why are you here? I need you to see you about something. Oh, Summer's here too? I have some unfinished work. I'll get back to it. Summer! Miss G? Summer, who's really a boyfriend? Felix? Or Frederick? You were here too. What were you guys talking about? Nothing special. Just asking Summer, what we can expect to celebrate their wedding? Come on. You are not even married to my brother yet. How can I get married before you? Anyway, Summer, it's time for dinner. Let's go. Brother, check someone for me. Frederick's secretary, Summer Z. There's something going on between them. Summer, you've been rejecting me because of my brother? You knew? What exactly happened between you and my brother? Did he force you? No. Then what is it, Summer? Tell me, I can help. You really want to know? Yes. Three years ago, my mom suddenly needed a kidney transplant. The surgery and medical expenses totaled over two million. And I couldn't borrow enough money. In the end, I asked Frederick for help. He agreed. Under one condition. And you know the rest. Sorry. I didn't realize you've been through so much. It's okay. Ever since Frederick got engaged, I've been living in fear every day. Talking about it now, I feel much better. Summer, do you want to get away from Frederick's control? Of course. But my mom is still under his control. And I can't even see her. I can help you. Find a way to get Frederick to allow you to see your mom. 
then disguise as a medical staff member and move her to the parking lot, where my people will meet you. Westmont Hotel, a comprehensive venue, integrating resorts, entertainment, and shopping, spanning 1,000 acres, with a planned investment of 10 billion. It's late. What's up? Frederick, could you come over to my place? I have a surprise for you. I hoped your surprise has something to do with you. <clears throat> Let's call it a day. We'll continue tomorrow. Everyone, rest up early. You're back. Have some? Wood says the perfume. Aren't you found of this fragrance? <sighs> yes. And it's preciously because you knew I liked this scent. You haven't used it in a long time. Why choose it today? Because I want to please you. I hope the reason satisfies you. Say it. What do you want? My mom's birthday is coming up. I want to visit her in the hospital. <laughs> All this effort for such a small request? Or are you planning something else? All right. I'm pleased with tonight's surprise. But if you want to visit the hospital, it will depend on how you behave. Miss Summer, Mr. Wan has informed the hospital, and the car is already waiting downstairs. I'll be right down. All right. I'll go alone. You wait for me in the car. Sure. Mom, to break free from Frederick One's control, I have to take you away. Don't worry, I've arranged for a better hospital. From now on, I'll be by your side to take care of you. This is strange. The patient in bed one is missing! Felix, I don't think our relationship is at a point where we can chat over the phone. Come on, brother. Don't be so cold. As the saying goes, leave some wiggle room in your dealings. 
You might need help someday. Me ask for help from you? Frederick, don't be too sure of yourself. Don't you want to know where Summer is? If you dare touch her, I'll make sure you can never return to Anchorton. <laughs> Are you threatening me? Brother, so you do have fears. Believe it or not, with just one call, I can let your cherished canary fly away. What do you want? I want all your shares in the Westmount Hotel. The hotel or Summer. Your choice. To the hospital. Check if Summer is still there. Yes, got it. Wait! Wait! Mr. One, Summers, he just took the elevator down! Why isn't Felix answering his phone? No. I have to make this work this time. Nurse, where are you headed? <sighs> Frederick, I don't want to be a shadow lover behind you for the rest of my life. Please, let me go. Let you go? Sure. Just pay back the medical bills for your mom for these three years. Oh, and the gambling debt I paid off for your brother. Then I will let you go. I'll find a way. Humph. How? You could work your whole life and still not pay off millions of money. Or are you planning to find a new sugar daddy and sign another three-year contract? <laughs> It turns out the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. An ungrateful wretch. Don't insult my father. Don't insult my father. <sighs> insult. A despised murderer. And you can't even handle this much truth. How do you know my dad killed someone? Did you investigate me? Summersy, don't flatter yourself. Listen to me. You're nothing but a ball plaything. Someone used your escape plan to extort shares from me. Want to know who betrayed you? Felix? <laughs> Not as dumb as I thought. Why? Why would he betray me? I have to confront him. <laughs> Betrayal. That's the first lesson I taught you from now on. Don't ever leave my sight, and stay away from Felix. Frederick Wan, to think of you, a man of your repute, would fall because of a woman. Getting up Westmount Hotel shares just like that. How could this happen? Damn, Frederick Wan, tampering with a contract! Felix got a shell company's share in Westmount. Once the agreement takes effort, not only does he get nothing, but he might also end up in debt. Next, is the chief family's turn.
Summer, why are you here? To deliver documents to Mr. Wen. Summer, are you still mad at me? Let me explain. I don't want to hear it. Felix, let's... Let's not see each other anymore. Summer, I didn't mean to. It was all Frederick's coercion. Hear me out. Give me another chance, Let go okay? of me! Summer, give me another Let chance. Let go of me! Okay. You're at home. It seems I caught it at the wrong time, interrupting you in Secretary Summer's moment. Why don't you come up? All just opportunistic low lives! You intentionally made me meet Felix, testing me, weren't you? How does it feel? Listen to a man who betrayed you make excuses. Interesting, isn't it? Your tastes are unique. I can agree. Here's the document from Assistant Grant. Now that it's delivered, I'll be leaving. We're heading to Westmount next week. You're coming with me. I have a headache. I can't go. Dr. Lawrence, send a neurology specialist immediately. Wait! I'll go with you. What? A shortfall of two billion on the books? How could it possibly be that much? The funds you redirected haven't been replenished yet. And with the poor management over the past few years, the deficit has only grown. Mr. G, what should we do? What to do? How am I supposed to know? Get out! Brother! Brother, what's wrong with this photo? Oh, that was left at our doorstep. I checked. It was Frederick once doing. Summer Z, dares to fool me like this? Where's she now? She's gone with Frederick One on a side visit to Westmount. Side visit? Book me a flight to Westmount. The sooner the okay, better. sure. It's quite the effort for you to visit in such heavy snow. You're too kind. You took care of my mom for so many years. If she were still here, she'd visit you often. Us old guards have always suspected there was more to your mom's death. After she passed, your grandfather's empire fell into Frank One's hands, and the G family prospered immensely. No, with the completion of the Westmont Hotel, it's like fulfilling one of your mom's wishes. It's time those who owe your family pay their dues. There's no rush. I believe they'll soon start tripping over their own feet. This way. Who might this be? Oh, let me introduce her. This is my secretary, Summer Z. Z? You look familiar. Mr. Lee, have we ever met each other before? No, no. You just remind me of someone I knew. My mistake. All right, take care. We'll be heading out. All right, all right. Could she be the daughter of Sam Z? No, that can't be right. How could Frederick fall for the daughter of his mother's killer? Yes, the industry is currently booming, offering a much higher ROI than traditional sectors. We've increased our investment accordingly. Mr. Keen. I'll have the contract sent over tomorrow. I've got another matter to attend to. Wearing those Jing Ling accessories, trying to catch my attention? I wasn't. Frederick, don't flatter yourself. If you are trying to seduce me with this, well, you've succeed.
Miss G. Have you lost your mind? Leave us. Summer Z, stop right here. Have you had enough? Me? Frederick, shouldn't I be the one asking you that? First, it was Chloe Chow. Now, Summer Z, do you even care about your fiancé? <laughs> fiancé? Listen closely. You won't be for much longer. What do you mean? Literally, I'm visiting the G family tomorrow to call off the engagement. From tomorrow on, we have nothing to do with each other. How dare you? Aren't you afraid my brother will take back the West Mount land? It seems your brother hasn't informed you that your G family is already in deep trouble. Not just the West Mount project, even if you put up your entire family as collateral, you might not cover the deficit. That's impossible. You're lying too? You behind this? Frederick, just leave my brother and my family alone, and I'll agree to the breakup. Whether you agree or not, I'm calling off the wedding. As for your family, once you return everything you've stolen, I'll naturally let you go. That can be. My family won't fall. He must be lying to me. Summer Z, I truly underestimated you. Miss G, whether you look down on me or hold me in high esteem, that's your right. Now, if you will, excuse me. Did I say you could leave? What do you want? What do I want? Summer Z, your acting skills are impressive. Even I got fooled. Watching me and Chloe Zhao fight tooth and nail? You must feel quite smug. I don't know what you're talking about. Move side. I wonder if I scarred your pretty face. Would Frederick even spare you a second glance? You're insane! Yes, I'm insane. And it's because of women like you who seduce other people's fiancés. I never thought about seducing Frederick Wen. He's using my mother's life to threaten me. Instead of addressing the root of the problem, you're hurting other victims just like you. Pei Tongji, you're not only bad, you're stupid. <laughs> no matter what, I'm still better than a murderer's daughter, right? Huh. <laughs> You didn't know. The person your father killed was Frederick Wen's mother, Sophie Wen. Did you think Frederick loved you? He's just seeking revenge. What did you say? The murderer MC. The victim Sophie Wen. So my father's moment of folly was the murder of Frederick Wen's mother. Mom, the West Mount Hotel project has started. I finally fulfilled your and Grandpa's last wish. Mom, once I've dealt with those ungrateful people, your spirit can rest in peace. Frederick Wen. What are you doing here? I've learned the truth. Your mother was the victim back then. On behalf of my father, I apologize to you. <gasps> Get out before I lose my temper. I'm sorry. Truly sorry. My dad has received his punishment. And over the years, our family has been searching for the victim's relatives. I never imagined it would be someone so close. I'm truly sorry. Sorry? Do you think shedding a few insincere tears and apology make up for the atrocity your father committed? 
The person lying here is my mom. <laughs> Take a good look. Back then, my mom, out of kindness, took in your father as a driver because he was jobless. And what did he do? Ingratefully, he murdered her over a trifle amount of money. Your family doesn't deserve to be here. Get out. Fred Jack. Not living, huh? You want to apologize? Then kneel here until I'm satisfied. If she wants to kneel, let her kneel her heart out. Summer Z! Summer! Summer Z, I thought your apology was sincere, but it was just a show. What are you doing? I'm going to keep kneeling until you're satisfied. Enough! There's a limit to how much you can act. Frejack, what do you want me to do to satisfy you? Satisfied? That's impossible in this lifetime. Summer Z, let's go to hell together. Why here? I've come to discuss a partnership. Partnership? A bastard like you dares to talk about partnerships? You! Hayden G, hearing about your split from Frederick I has turned you into the biggest joke in high society. If you're here to mock me, then we have nothing to discuss. Show the guest out. Don't you want to get back at Frederick I at Summer Z? What do you mean? Everett Huo. Ring any bells? The maniac who's always been competitive with Frederick and likes to torment women? If I recall correctly, he was put in his place by one at a party a couple of years ago. Club Nightshade, I prepared a surprise for you tomorrow night. Once you see my sincerity, then consider whether you want to partner with me. Frederick Wynn, oh Frederick Wynn. To think you'd fall for the doctor of someone who killed your mother. How ridiculous. Hey, if it isn't young Mr. Wen. I heard you just sent your father to the hospital and then kicked your brother out of the company. Still as ruthless as ever. I heard your dad handed the company to some bastard from outside. Ruthless is always better than being useless like you. You! All you can do is vent your frustrations on woman. Disgusting. Frederick Wynn! Mr. Huo, please behave yourself. Frederick! What are you doing here? You're drunk. I... Masson, take her home. Yes. Hey! Now that she's here, Wiley, so soon. She does look pretty. Wonder how is she in bed? <laughs> she's mine. I advise you not to lay a finger on her. Or you might as well say goodbye to your head. Interesting. 
I've never seen him so protective over a woman before. Bring her to me. You're hurting me. Summer, why did you come here? I didn't. I just, was just what? Don't you know? That man's lunatic. If he had us weave with you, whether you'd leave that room alive would be a miracle. Summer Z, you're despicable. Yes, I am despicable. That's why I rushed over when I got the call. What call? Felix said you're drunk and asked me to pick you up. Frederick Wen, I know you hate me, hate my father. I don't want to continue this torment. Let's end this. <laughs> end this? Summer Z, you're so eager to leave me. Looking for a new sponsor? How's business? Need me to introduce you to some big clients? Sure. That would be really kind of you. Not every man is as easy to please as me. I advise you to stay put. In your eyes, I'm just a parasite. Only good for clinging to men. Frederick Wen. I can live without you. Fine. It's 30 kilometers to the city center from here. Since you're so set on being independent, either walk back in your heels, or bow down and apologize to you. Frederick Wen, your heart is as cold as stone. All that roundabout talk, if you can bear to leave, why not just say it? Pop back again, and you're out of the car. Mr. Wan, Missy has been taken! What? <sighs> Summer! Lock all exits! Drink! Drink up! Mr. Wan, we've brought her in. It's you. <laughs> Mr. Huo, who is she? Well, she's Frederick Wen's woman. Frederick Wen of the Wen Corporation? That's playing with fire. Mr. Huo, kidnapping his woman might not end well. Even if the Wens are the wealthiest in that quarter, the Huos are no less formidable. Plus, with Mr. Huo here, what's there to fear? I just think he's trouble. Best not to provoke him directly. His trouble. Uh, so I'm Let me make it clear. In Edgerton, I call the shots. Not Patrick Wynn. Got it? Got it, got it. Throw him out. Wanna see what Patrick Wynn's woman looks like, me? Yeah. Then today's your lucky day. Strip her. Come on, do it. <laughs> Wait! This is taking too long. How about we just burn it up? Hold her down! You hit me! How dare you! You guys, I have outside. We'll come one by one. What you do? It's illegal! Legal? Uh, you think you can fight back? Frederick, uh, uh, you're asking for it! Shut your mouth! Are you alright? Mr. Wan, what do you want to do with these people? A bunch of jerks. Teach them a lesson first. Yes. <laughs> Take them away. Frederick, well, I'm from the whole family. 
Even your father, Franklin, must show some respect to me. Here in Ankerton, be smart and let me go, or you will regret it for the rest of your life. I'm curious. How a nobody make me regret anything? You dare! Tell me, which hand did you touch her with? Touched? I did more than that. I touched her, kissed her, and even more. Want the details? You're lying! <laughs> Irredeemable. Let's see how you manage without hands. Chop them off. Yes. Patrick Wren, you wouldn't dare. <sighs> Filth. Send him to the police station. Looks like the whole family has too much freedom. Understood. Patrick Wren, you are paying for this. Oh! Put me down. I can walk on my own. When will you stop being stubborn? Do you have any idea what those men would have done to you if I hadn't arrived in time? I know. But isn't all this because of you? You are really ungrateful. Don't get the wrong idea about today. I did it. Not because I care about you. But because I don't want my toy dirted by others. I'm well aware. I know. I can't make up for what my dad did to you. I'll submit my resignation tomorrow. And I'll return everything you've given me over the years. You still want to leave? Frederick Wen, I'll find a good nursing home to take care of my mom and pray for your mom's soul. I won't allow it. Samerzy, listen carefully. The best way you can atone is by staying by my side. Forget about leaving me. Summer! 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 <sighs> no significant issues. As a pregnant woman, you should regulate your emotions and avoid getting too agitated. What? I'm pregnant? Yes, about eight weeks. Didn't you know? Doctor, please, don't let anyone know about my pregnancy. If the father finds out, he'll never let it be born. Doctor, how is she? The patient has been too emotionally unstable these past few days. She should rest for a few more days. Okay, thank you. I've dealt with the whole situation. Also, I've come across something particularly interesting. Want to hear? What? Felix Wen has teamed up with the G's. Your kidnapping was their plan. What? Felix? Why would he do that? I told you, not every man is as easy to please as me. Come with me somewhere. What? Okay. How could she have escaped? Now that Summers is safe, and everyone who has been thrown out to fend for himself, Felix Wen, was that a surprise? How was I to know that everyone was so incompetent? Let me tell you, if you don't satisfy me, the Jim family won't help a loser compete with Frederick Wen for the Wen Corporation. Fine. You just want to see Summers suffer, right? Leave it to me. I have another plan. Good. I will be waiting for your good news. 
Don't disappoint me next time. Getting a high and mighty, a woman even Frederick one didn't want. Summer Z, for betraying me, I won't let you off the hook. We are here. Get out. Why are we here? I remember this is where your dad is buried. Frederick, my dad has already paid for his mistakes. Please, let's not disturb him anymore. <laughs> paid? Do you think a life for a life can soothe the pain of losing my mother as a child? What did my mom do wrong? She merely showed compassion to your father by giving him a job. Yet her kindness cost her life. Get out of the car. Frederick. Ever since my mom passed, I've often come here, staring at the photo of this man. I've imagined countless times. If only he hadn't given in to greed back then, my mom would still be alive. And things wouldn't have turned out this way. I'm sorry. My mom was ill and needed medical expenses. In desperation, to gather the money, my dad took the wrong path. Sorry. Can your apology bring my mom back to life? I'm sorry, Summersy. I should hit you. Yeah, I'm certainly. I fall in love. Who are you guys? Boss, James Z was right. His sister really is here. James Z, what's your relationship with him? Lady, let me be straight with you. Your brother owes us a million, and since he can't pay, we had to come looking for you. A million? He promised me he would change. That million is our livelihood for the year. You're his sister, so you should pay it back. I don't have the money. If you want it, go find him. Bring him up here. <sighs> Summer, this really isn't my fault this time. I didn't gamble. They, they framed me. Summer, really? <clears throat> Shut up! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold on. Want to save him? Fine, but pay up first. I really don't have any money. Not a million. Not even ten thousand. No money? That's fine. My last wife, I beat her to death. You become my wife, and I'll consider a brother's debt of ten thousand cancelled. <laughs> Get your hands off my sister! <laughs> Darn it, you wretch! You dare to hit me? I'm telling you, either submit to me, or I'll crack one of his hands. Make your choice. I choose neither. I won't pay for my brother's recklessness anymore, and you can't pay the blame for the intentional harm on me. Fine, you are sharp. Don't blame me for what happens next. We've settled James Z's issue. But we haven't settled ours yet. Those few hits you gave me really got to me. Now, I want a kiss from you as compensation. That's not too much to ask, right? What are you trying to do? What am I trying to do? You'll find out soon enough. <laughs> Boss. What are we waiting for? Get on with it! No! 
Summer, Summer, Summer! Doctor, Doctor! Fred, everyone? Doctor, how's she? The patient and the baby are both fine. Baby? Yes, she's been pregnant for eight weeks, didn't you know? She never told me. Doctor, can I see her now? Not right now. You can visit her in her room later. Pregnant? Summer is pregnant. You're pregnant. Why didn't you tell me? This child is mine. It has nothing to do with you. Summer, let's terminate the pregnancy. Whatever you want, I can compensate you. Frederick Wen, in your eyes, can everything be measured with money? <sighs> Summer Z, this isn't the time to be upset. I am the father of the child. I have the right to decide whether to keep it. This child isn't yours. I won't terminate it. The surgery is scheduled for tomorrow morning. I won't allow you to have this job. Frederick Wen! You're a beast! Doctor, this is my child, right? After our examination, we found that your wife has an ectopic pregnancy, which could lead to severe bleeding and death for the mother. For the health of the pregnant woman, we recommend immediate surgery to terminate the pregnancy. Confirm the time of summer surgery tomorrow for me. I want to be here with her. Mr. One, bad news. Miss Summer has run away. What? <sighs> Frederick, please let me go. I don't want to terminate this child. Come on. Be reasonable. You can have as many children as you want later. But this one is not possible. Get out. I don't want to see you. I... Get out! Did I tell you to get out? Brother... Summer... Are you... feeling better? What are you doing here? Summer, I really didn't gamble this time. I was just drinking with friends, and then I somehow woke up owing a million gambling debts. I... I swear, I really quit. I've gone straight. Do you think I believe anything you say now? Yes. Whatever I say is nothing to you now. After that incident, our family has been living in the shadow of being related to a murderer. And me? I just wanted to earn more. To give you and mom a better life. That's why Gimbo. But... The more I Gimbo, the more I lost. I'm not a man. 
I'm wrong. I'm a failure. I'm just a piece of trash. Enough! Brother, do you really believe Dad was a murderer? What do you mean? Before Dad's incident, he kept mentioning some money. But all these years, we've never seen it. Are you suggesting someone paid Dad to commit a murder? Investigate the money she mentioned. Got it. I'll figure out a way for the two billion. For now, just keep your mouth shut and don't let the news leak. Brother! Payton! Brother! What's the matter? Why the panic? Summer Z is pregnant with for Derek's child. He must really care about her. I heard about this. Well, Frederick has already forced her to terminate the pregnancy. Even a tiger won't eat its own cubs, but his heart is even colder than a tiger's. Listen to me. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. No! I want to marry him. Even if he won't marry me, I can't let any other woman have him. Brother, you have to help me. All right, all right. I don't know what's so good about that Frederick one. <sighs> let me talk to Frank one. Brother, you're the best. What do you want? Can't I visit the chairman of the one corporation without a reason? The kind of person who wakes up early for profit. Visiting? Do you even believe yourself? Well... Since you're being so direct, I'll cut to the chase. This time, I'm here to ask for two small favors from you. The first one is to make Frederick one marry my sister, Peyton. Stop right there. Frederick is his own person now. I can't influence his decisions anymore. What's the other thing? The second thing is... My company, the G Corporation, is facing some financial difficulties recently. I was hoping for a little help from him. I need two billion. Two billion? You've got some nerve asking for that. I can't help you with that. Easy now. You actually can help me. Did you forget? Frederick One's mother was killed by both of us. Right here. Not dead yet. Here, take it, take it, take it, take it. Another cut. Quick, quick, do it. You! I want to see the money in three days. Mom! Mom! Well... Just say it! That Sophie Wen was murdered in a conspiracy between Peyton Yu and your dad! My dad and Peyton Yu conspired to kill Frederick's mom? Absolutely! I heard it with my own ears! Not just that, Peyton Yu even demanded two billion from your dad! Two billion?! Exactly! They really have some nerve. And here Peyton acts all high and mighty in front of me. Turns out she's just putting on airs a complete nobody. Just thinking about it makes me want to strangle her. Felix. Now that most of the WEN Corporation is in Frederick Wen's hand, we can't just sit and wait. Mom, you don't have to worry about that. 
I've already thought of a way to deal with him. Let's hear it. You don't need to worry. Just wait for his son to take the chairman's seat at Wong Corporation. Mr. Wong, we found out about the mine Miss Summer mentioned. After Mrs. Wong's death, Sam Z did indeed receive a transfer of five million. However, this money disappeared shortly after. Disappeared? Yes. According to the bank, Sam Z personally refunded the money. Coincidentally, he had a car accident shortly afterwards. No. There's no coincidence in this world. Especially since at that time, Summer's mother was here. He would have needed the money. Why would he return it? Hey, did you find out where the money came from? No, we're still investigating, but we should have results soon. Put more people on and speed up the process. Understood. That damn Frederick went first in telling you, and then forcing you to abort a child. He'd better not let me see him, or I will break his legs. Don't worry. I'm fine now. You are lying in bed and you call that fine? That means a disaster. He only brings you harm. <sighs> Summer, leave him. I can support you. Sue, I appreciate your kindness, but I'm totally fine. I can support myself. You're right. My relationship with him was a mistake from the start. This child considered our family paying back life to him. From now on, I have nothing to do with him. Summer, I'm fine. Sue, can you take me to see my mom? Mom, it's summer. I came to see you. Summer, if your father wasn't the real murderer of my mother, then everything I've done to you has been wrong. How can I ever earn your forgiveness then? In a few days? I'll take you away from here. I found a nursing home for you. The environment might not be as good as here. But don't worry. I'll take care of you. Dad, wherever you are, I know you would want to see us living well. Sue, I'm here. My mom's head moved. I saw it. Doctor, doctor. Mr. One, shall we go in? No need. Let's go back. Okay. Patient's condition is gradually improving, and just now, there's a possibility of awakening. Really? Is my mom going to wake up? Yes. Huh? I remember I just had a surgery for an ectopic pregnancy. Why are you out of bed already? Ectopic the pregnancy? The ultrasound report came out and Mr. One immediately assembled a team of specialists to create a treatment plan for you. After confirming there was no other options, the best doctors performed the abortion surgery for the sake of the pregnant woman's health. What are you doing here? Miss Chi, all dressed up so beautifully. Are you off to see Frederick? That's none of your business. Miss Chi, your effort to win over my brother have really touched me. Too bad. My brother's currently at the hospital with Summer Z. It seems your little scheme might fall through. Whether it falls or not, it's not for a bastard like you to comment on. 
No matter how unworthy for that may be, he is the rightful heir to the Wing Corporation. You? Can you even compare to his fingertips? Miss G, to think you're just one of Frederick's discarded women. What right do you have to speak of? Me? Shut up! Let me go. Miss G, your family's nothing but an empty shell now. Don't you dare act high and mighty in front of me. Wait for me in the study. Tell me, what do you want? I didn't come here for anything special today. Just heard some rumors lately about the G family being in deep financial troubles. Those are just baseless rumors. Don't take them seriously. <laughs> Rumor or truth, I came here with one goal in mind. Help me take over the One Corporation, and you will get two billion. I might be able to assist you, but. With your current status, taking over the One Corporation, even if the board agrees, Frederick certainly won't. That's easy. Help me get rid of Frederick then. That way, my father will only have one son left. Frederick controls everything in Ancourt. How easy do you think it is to kill him? Even if I had the means, why would I risk everything for a mere two billion to go against him? You had guts to kill his mother. Why hesitate over Frederick One? Mr. One, we've traced the account that paid Samzi. Let me see it. Our investigation found that it was a concealed overseas account held by the chairman, which was then deleted. If Miss C hadn't remembered her father mentioning it, this might have remained undiscovered. Frank Wen. Has been swallowing me up. My grandfather's assets for years. I should have seen this coming. Summer, are you really leaving? I've submitted my resignation, and I've left the keys to the house here. Frederick, I hope we never see each other again. Summer. Let go. You can't leave. You can't go. Let go of me. Uh, I. I can't let you go. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. If I let you go now, you'll never come back. Right. It was a mistake from the beginning. Now it's time to put everything back on the right track. Summer, what do you think? Are you satisfied with how your room turned out? 
Did you clean up mom's room? You know mom's been in the nursing home, and that room has been empty for over a decade. I didn't think it was necessary to clean it up. Are you okay? No. What's this? Summer. By the time you read this letter, I'll be my way to turn myself in. Frank Wen murdered Sophie Wen and coerced me into taking the blame. These days, I've been tormented by guilty. I couldn't bear you growing up under the shadow of slander. I've decided to turn myself in. Frank Wen surely doesn't want the truth revealed. What lies ahead is uncertain. Summer, I'm sorry. So my dad wasn't the murderer. The real murderer was Frank Wen. Summer, you need to call Frederick right away. Frederick. Come to my house immediately. I have something important to tell you. <sighs> What's so urgent, Hofer? I. <gasps> What's up? What exactly happened? Frederick got injured when he was trying to save me. If I hadn't asked him to meet, none of this would have happened. Don't blame yourself too much. All of this was Mr. One's choice. More than himself, he wanted to make sure you weren't hurt. Why? I thought he hated me. Rather than hate, it's more like he's been in love without realizing it. Missy, you actually met Mr. One long time ago. What do you mean? Hello, Mr. Wen. I'm the new secretary, Summer Z. Why? Why has he never told me? The patient's condition is extremely critical. Internal bleeding will operate immediately. Which family member was on consent? I will. Don't worry, Mr. Wen will be fine. Sorry, the surgery was unsuccessful. What will happen to him? Even if he wakes up, he's likely to be in a vegetable state. The family should prepare for this. Felix, everything has been taken care of. Good job. Frederick's surgery failed. From now on, he's just a vegetable. Here's to our first successful step. Cheers. Frederick is as cunning as a fox. Do you really think he'll lie in bed for the rest of his life? Don't worry about that. The surgeon works for me. Even if he was fine, I could make him not fine. Still, I can't help but feel uneasy. Well then, 
I'll just have to visit the hospital myself later. That should satisfy you, right? Frederick, are you trying to make me feel guilty for the rest of my life? Never able to forget you? Please wake up. Why are you here? He is my brother. Shouldn't I come to see him? Is there something wrong with that? You're not welcome here. Who do you think you are? Acting like you're his wife? This is a one corporation hospital. It's not up to you to decide who's welcome. You... <gasps> Felix. This is your true face, isn't it? Just as I imagined. Despisable and shameless. Now that Frederick lies there like a dead man. You must be feeling quite lonely, right? How about you side with me? Never! I will never be with someone as disgusting as you. Disgusting. Then I insist on having you. Let go of me. Let go of me. Get down. Scum. You're a shark. Choose your weight. Frederick is indeed paralyzed. I bullied his woman right beside his bed, and he didn't even blink. Now you can rest easy. Are you alright? I'm fine. It's uncertain whether Mr. One will wake up now. You've had a shock. Let me take you back to rest. No need. I can take care of myself. Let me speak to him for a moment. Alright. Frederick, you have to wake up. Throw all this junk out. What are you doing? Stop! All of you, stop! Don't mind him. Throw all of Frederick One's stuff out. These are Mr. West's belongings. Make them stop right now. <laughs> Who do you think you are to order me around? Let me tell you, from now on, Frederick is nothing. But a vegetable. The one corporation will soon be mine. Oh, and have you thought about what's going to happen to you after he's gone? You'll never take over the one corporation. Oh, one more thing I forgot to tell you. You are fired. That's impossible. You don't have the authority. No way. Security. Drag him out. He's never to step foot in one corporation ever again. Wait, what are you doing? Felix, you must her! Oh, Frederick One. I should have gotten rid of you sooner. So I wouldn't have had to endure all these years in silence. Son? Everything is ready. Tomorrow at the board meeting, they'll elect you as the new CEO. Then, you can completely trample Frederick One under your foot. Mom, one Frederick isn't enough. I want the entire One Corporation. <laughs> then I wish you success in advance. Take down this painting and burn it. Sophie Wen, oh Sophie Wen. What's the use of being a noble lady of Sophie family? Now that your son lies motionless in bed, the entire Wen Corporation will soon be under our control. <laughs> Frederick won't last much longer. Sophie, I'll have him join you on the road to the underworld. Hurry! 
Stop! What are you doing? Hold her back! This is Frederick's only memory of his mother. And you dare to burn it? You've gone too far! <laughs> too far? There's more! Stop! Take her away! Burn it! No! 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 Please, I beg you! No! How is he? Still the same. Unable to speak or move. Felix, burned the only thing Frederick have to remember his mother. I couldn't stop them. It's not your fault. If he knew how you've been tirelessly taking care of him since he fell ill, he'd be very touched. He was injured trying to save me. Plus, I also hope he wakes up soon to clear my father's name. Felix plans to hold a board meeting tomorrow to elect himself as the new CEO. What? We can't let his scheme succeed. I've been by his side for three years. I know who his Kurenis are. You take care of him. I'll go talk to them. Alright. As you all might have heard about Frederick One's condition, a person who will have to spend the rest of his life in hospital is simply unfit to be the CEO of One Corporation. Therefore, I propose that we elect a new CEO, myself, to take his place. How does that sound to everyone? Now that Frederick has fallen, isn't Felix the only son left of the One's Corporation? Yes. It seems like his succession is inevitable. Might as well curry favor with him. Secure way out. No objections. No objections, too. I object. I've been here since before the One Corporation was even founded. Serving two generations. This corporation was built by Mr. One Senior himself. I've no objections to it being passed to Frederick. But you... A bastard born to a son-in-law? I've all the objections in the world! Sean, don't, don't go too far! It's been said that Sean's getting old and his mind is not clear. Seems like it's true. You? Someone, you two, escort him back to rest. What? What are you doing? Keep your hands off me! I'll leave on my own! Any more objections? Good. Since there are no objections, then I'll assume the role of the new CEO of One Corporation. Wait. I object. Frederick One, you are not paralyzed? Without staging a play, how could I have exposed your true colors? You've been busy winning people over and eliminating threats. Must have been hard work. This was intentional. Are you alright? Okay, let's continue the meeting. Since everyone's had their say, it's my turn now. I have here a document detailing Felix's coercion of shareholders into selling their shares at a low price and illegal lending. I believe this might be of interest to everyone. Impossible. That's fake. That's fake. With something this crucial, do you think I'd only prepared one copy? Mason, distribute copies to everyone. Yes. Frederick, why do you always have to be such a thorn in my side? What are you planning? What am I? 
I simply don't want the board members to be deceived and just to see how capable you really are. Turns out, trash is still trash. You can never make it to the big stage. Treasure will kill you. Guards, let me go. Let me go. I'm the real CEO of One Corporation. I kill you. Peyton Yu, you're under arrest for hit and run, and the murder of Miss Sophie Wen from over a decade ago. Please come with us. According to the suspect's report, you were implicated in the murder of Miss Sophie Wen many years ago. Please come with us. You've won. I've applied for Wen Cooperation to be renamed to Sophie Cooperation. Everything will be set right. Your father wasn't the one who killed my mom. He tried to clear his name, but death in the car accident orchestrated by Frank Wen. Summer, all the misunderstandings before were my fault. I'm sorry. We did have some misunderstandings, but you saved my mom. And cleared my dad's name. That evens everything out. Can we start over? As a chance for me to astonish. It's all in the past now. I just want to be with my mom and live a new life. Free from past connections. Summer, what I said before was true. I love you. Pei Tongji, what are you planning to do? I am making an end to it all. Summer, I treated you so well. Why did you betray me? Now my family is ruined, and I've lost everything. Come down. We can solve this. You weren't supposed to be this way. I shouldn't have married Frederick. My brother wouldn't have died in jail. It's not because of you. Why did he have to appear? Why did he have to appear? Go to the hell! Go to the hell! Go to the hell! Go to the hell! <gasps> Stop! Don't come any closer. If you do, I will kill her. Peyton, have you lost your mind? Let's calm down. Put the gun down and we'll talk. Frederick. Why are you here? Don't bother with me. Go Shut away. Frederick, I just have one question for you. Did you ever love me? Peter, you know the answer, don't you? <gasps> Frederick. You've made my life a joke. I gave up everything for you, my family, my brother, everything, only to be met with your indifference, <sighs> Frederick. Do you have a hurt, Peter? You need to calm down. Please, I beg you. Don't hurt Summer. Please don't. 
begging me. Fine, then kneel down. All right. You love this woman that much? Fine. I want to see how far you can go for love. Today, only one of you can live. Your choice. If I die, you'll let her go, right? I promise. Frederick, Frederick, no, no, please don't, please. Summer, I'm sorry. I love you. Dad, Mom, Brother, and I came to visit you. Now, Frank Wan and Peyton Yu have been brought to the justice, and you've finally been cleared of all charges. Summer, you've worked hard these years. Mom, we are family. It's what I should do. Aren't you planning to marry? It's getting windy. We should head back. What are you doing here? Don't get me wrong. I came to visit your father. Hello, Matten. Here, give me. Mom, let me help you. Let's go. Still angry? No. All right. It's my fault. But isn't everything okay now? Forgive me, will you? Frederick, how dare you jest with me after everything? If it wasn't for the police arriving in time to stop her, you wouldn't be alive. So you're worried about me? No. Okay. It was all my fault, I understand. So can you give me a chance to make amends? To atone for my past mistakes? We'll see. <laughs> 